Hey everyone, this is Annie. I'm the autoimmune dietitian. Welcome back to another video on the relationship between inflammation and autoimmune disease and diet. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I have a private practice that I run virtually out of my home in the Bay Area, and I mainly work with adults struggling with a host of symptoms from underlying inflammatory and autoimmune conditions, things that include pain, fatigue, digestive issues, and just a reduced quality of life. So in my work with my clients, I help them implement a personalized nutrition roadmap really designed to help them improve mobility, concentration, and energy levels to help them live a vibrant and fulfilling life. So today we are talking about common early signs or symptoms of autoimmune diseases. So autoimmune symptoms can sometimes come out of nowhere and other times you may feel off for months before you reach a diagnosis. And there are some common symptoms that might start creeping up on you before anything really specific points to one you know, certain condition. So today I'm giving you a glance into some early signs of potential autoimmune conditions that you should not ignore. So before I jump in, I just need to attach my disclaimer that the information in today's video is not the substitute for the diagnosis, treatment, or care of disease by a medical provider. This is for informational purposes only. So please consult your qualified health professional for any changes to your medical care. Okay, so your skin is a great indicator that something might be off. Your skin is your body's first protective barrier against the outside world, and it contains many specialized immune cells um, to help fight off any potential invaders. What's also super fascinating to me is that the skin also has its own HPA system that has receptors for all the stress hormone your body produces. So your body has what's called an HPA axis, which where it regulates all of your um, stress hormones. And so your skin has something very similar to that. So when your body is either stressed or inflamed or both, your skin will reflect that stress. So many times early signs of autoimmune diseases show up in the skin first. Uh, this can be a rash, it could be redness, discoloration, or even acne breakouts. So while not, not all of these things are definite signs of an autoimmune disease, it's important to notice patterns over time. So if you notice that your skin condition has changed or you become more sensitive to things like fragrance or the sun, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. The next early sign of an autoimmune disease is your energy. So as you've heard me say before, the biggest complaint of all my clients is the exhaustion that comes from having an autoimmune disease. And many times this pops up earlier than other symptoms. But how do you know if your fatigue or energy loss is more than normal? Here are some hints. You get a full eight to nine hours of sleep and you still wake up exhausted. You literally feel like your head is in the clouds most days or you start taking regular naps and even those don't help you re-energize. So as we all know, inflammation can zap all of the energy out of you. So if you're feeling additionally tired, it's time to get that checked out. The third sign that you may have an autoimmune disease are weight fluctuations. And this can be either weight gain or weight loss when you have not changed your diet or exercise routine. That's really important. So if you're staying the course, you haven't changed your eating, you're still exercising, and you notice that either you've gained weight or you've lost weight, that might be a sign that you have some sort of hormonal imbalance going on that may be connected to your thyroid gland. You also want to check in with your hunger levels. If you are all of a sudden very hungry and eating more but not gaining any weight and actually losing weight, it could be a signal that something's off with your insulin production in your pancreas. All right. The next one is muscle and joint pain. So this one can be challenging for people who work out regularly because sometimes it's hard to separate a muscle injury or a tendon or joint injury from muscle or joint pain that shouldn't be there. So I know for me, um, I have rheumatoid arthritis and when I was first experiencing joint and muscle pain, I thought it was an overuse injury. I was coming off an Ironman, I was training a lot, I was really tired all the time, um, and I was in I was in physical therapy for months, and I, my body just wasn't responding. And my physical therapist actually told me to go get it checked out, only because I wasn't bouncing back as fast as I usually do. So there are several autoimmune diseases that affect the joints and the muscles. Rheumatoid arthritis is the obvious one, but you but you can have joint pain with Hashimoto's, with lupus, with psoriatic arthritis, just to name a few. Okay, the last one is GI issues. So bloating, gas, cramping, diarrhea, constipation, you know, all of that can happen to us anytime. But when it comes out of nowhere and it becomes a regular thing, it's time to get your GI system checked out. 
Early signs of inflammatory bowel disease and celiac disease can be just that. And the sooner you get diagnosed, the better chance you have for a quick healing process. So with all of these symptoms, it's important not to let your medical provider dismiss your symptoms. There are a number of simple blood tests that they can do to check if it's autoimmune related. And remember, these aren't always genetic conditions. So even if you don't have a family history of autoimmunity in your family, you should still demand that these tests are done. Hopefully it's nothing, but if not, at least you caught it early. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button. I come out with these about every week or so. If you're interested in learning more about my services, you can go to my website, AnnieRubin.com. Um, I offer free discovery calls with anyone looking to help improve their, their life by using food. So definitely reach out if you have any questions or you're curious about working with me. So thanks again, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next week with another interesting video related to autoimmunity, nutrition, and inflammation. Have a great day.